How's it going everybody? My name is JC Gaming and welcome to Doki Doki Literature Club. Now, before you say anything, alright, this isn't some anime kind of like weird, lonely kind of game, alright? So this game was a game where that... Where you try I... to find? <laughs> what happened? The, the word you try to find is otaku. Otaku, there you go. See, so I, sw so I have a very special guest here. His name is Kenny. Uh, I mean, yeah, he's a pretty funny guy. I decided to bring him in here, and I hope you guys like, hopefully, like his humor because I do. And you know, I wouldn't bring anybody here if they weren't funny. But yeah, uh, this game is supposedly a horror game, and I really want to see what it's all about. So, yeah, without further ado, let's just get into it. All right, so we're gonna use the same name for everything, Jesus. No, wait, 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 wait. Are you self destruction? They can get up on them. Uh, Guts. That's what I'm saying. So let's go. All right, so here we go. All right, hey! I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. Oh, whoa, whoa, relax! I'm trying to get kind of to the speed run, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay, alright. You know the kind of friend you never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because we've known each other for so long? We used to walk to school together on days like these, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more quickly. Yo, bro, I really don't want to read this otaku shit. You know, I can't do it. All right. I'm sweating. All right, we cross the street together and make our way to school. All right, we, we gotta keep the story based. So I, I guess, I guess, what we'll, we'll do the you know the sound effects and the character lines. Yo, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Let's let's get back in stream. As we draw, as we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I can't. I swear I need to tie this up. Oh. oh. Alright, alright, alright. <laughs> Have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. <laughs> I haven't been looking either. Eh, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of my many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she go she's going on about. Sorry, I like to worry a little bit about me, but when I'm perfectly unconscious, just getting by on the average while spending my... F I really butchered that shit. Let's keep going. Uh-huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you wouldn't learn how to wait, socialize. Wait, let, me, let me do those. Uh-huh. <laughs> or have any social skills. Whatever. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. And I know you're happy, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Because you're not used to the real world. You trust me, right? Don't make me uh, keep worrying about you. All right, all right. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. That's what I'm saying. No promises, though. Will you at least promise you'll try just a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! <laughs> Why did I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me watch you ease her mind at least a little bit, even if it does exaggerate everything inside her head. Uh, finally, we're at the school. The school day is as ordinary as ever and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Sayuri wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello? Sayori? Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm not the only one left in the that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if you're going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought- You know what, man? Nah, fuck this. Uh, I'm gonna give you guys- The the, the viewer watching this, I'm gonna give you guys two seconds to eat for each box. <laughs> my what? I'm not reading this, bro. I'm getting hungry and my dry getting dry. I mean, my mouth getting dry. <laughs> so, just reading your inside voice. <laughs> say, alright, I just gotta read I mean, this. I I could say it. I don't care. Alright, go ahead, yeah? <clears throat> yeah? There's no way I'm going to your club. Yeah? Maybe? <laughs> Fuck's sake. Uh, he is vice president of the village. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in her. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Understandable. Since she was the first one to show interest after one who proposed the club, she inherited the title of vice president. 
That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Damn. Yeah, I'm going to be in the anime club. Come on, please? Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I'm kind of told the club yesterday I would have bring in a new member. And that's Suki made cupcakes and everything. Damn. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. Alright guys, so I'm sorry for that uh, quick interruption, but I'm just going to say this real quick. So we just skipped to the point where there's actually some gameplay, as in like some events going on. So basically, it introduces us to four people, uh, Natsuki, Yuri, Monica, and Sayori. Obviously, um, there are four characters that are in the freaking um, thumbnail. Overall, it's just introductions to who they are, how, you know, the club that they made, etc, etc, etc. So at the end of the chapter, they told us, go make a poem. And yeah, this is where we're at. Again, I'm sorry for that. I just don't want to bore you guys with such a long introduction, especially since we're trying to get used to the whole otaku thing. So yeah, without further ado, let's just get right into it. We just... Nah, we're gonna we're gonna change it up a bit. Let's see if our decisions actually do something. All right. So what's the first word? Oh, it's different. Yeah. Wait, is it? Uh, yeah. yeah. It is different. All right. So what do we do? Okay. Let's do a fluffy. Uh, that's the pink. I'll do uncanny. Your turn. Let's do, uh, let's do the sound. The sound. Jesus, she likes it. Uh, frightening. I knew it. She's dark. All right. Let's try something happy. Your turn. Uh, shiny. I knew it, uh, Kitty. I knew it. All right, your turn. Okay. So, in order to get the one to far left, let's go with uh, games. Nah. Damn uh, it. I'll go sing. Ah, she's even more excited. Your turn. Vivid. Uh, I'll do Destiny. Uh, the okay. hell? Okay. Cheer? Which one? Cheer. Cheer. Yeah. Uh, there we go. I'll do a uh, watch. Look hopeless. Look, look at the purple one. Do it. Oh what? <laughs> okay. What? I don't know. I I give up. Your turn. Let's do sunny. Sunny. All right. Uh, I'll do eternity. Uh, hair. Hair. I'll do headphones. Your turn. <laughs> we have to pick that. Dark. Okay. Your turn. This doesn't make sense. Uh, Kawaii. I'll try. I'll pick her. I'll put um tenacious. Oh, for fuck's sake. All right, whatever. <laughs> okay, this is where we. Uh, hi again, surgeon. Glad you see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last one to come in, so everyone is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, surgeon. I hope this isn't too much of a overwhelming commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it? Oh, come on, like he deserves any slack. Sorry you told me you didn't even want to join the club this year. And then last year too. I don't know if you plan to co just come here and hang out or what, but if you don't take it seriously, then you won't see the end of it. It's okay. you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. Mm -hmm. Your turn. Natsuki <laughs> <laughs> finds herself stuck between saying Monica and Manga. Manga is literature. Swiftly defeated, that's if he falls back into his sink. Don't worry, guys. Surgeon. <laughs> My god, Surgeon I'm is it his best as long as we're having fun. Whoa. Uh, he keeps me with busy worth without me. I'm, it's like I'm sitting sideways and I can't read properly. Mm -hmm, me mm -hmm. even asking. There we go. Like cooking, cleaning my room. Oh. Cook behavior. How dependable. <laughs> Sorry, that's because your room is messy. It's the strike thing. Damn. And you almost set your house on fire once. Is that so? <laughs> Y'all can't do it. I, I, I might turn up. Subin. Right. You two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. How come you? How come? You and Surgeon can become good friends too. Uh, I know. Yeah, I can't. Fucking sound effects. Sayori. Hmm? Hmm? Uh, as usual, Sayori <laughs> seems oblivious to the weird situation she puts me she just put me into. Oh, oh, Yuri even brought you something today. You you know? Wait, so Yuri? Uh, me? Uh, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? Uh, never mind. Sayori made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Fun fact, guys, this should be an advanced performing art, so this is kind of like natural to me. Just saying. Uh, Wait, what? I used to, back in high school, it used to be an advanced performing art, so I kind of got out of my shell a long time ago. 
As in, I'm not gay. As in, like, I'm no longer like. <laughs> let's, let's, yo, because when you usually say when you say things you get at your show or some shit like that, people thinking nowadays, oh, so you gay? Oh, yeah, 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 I'm like, no. I, I kind of find weird that you're like, oh, by the way, I'm not homosexual. <laughs> Basically, uh, what do I do? Uh, I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue the situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. Yo, smooth. Yo, good yeah, that's smooth, yeah? Not really. Is that so? Yeah, I won't make it a big deal if you don't want me to be. Alright, well, here. Yuri reach, reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. I thought was gonna be a school shooter. <laughs> like it. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. This is... How is this girl actually being so cute? I wonder, does that ever happen to you in real life where a girl's just being cute for no reason? Um... Hmm. I wonder. There's, there's times where they try and it doesn't work out. And there's times where I'm just like, Damn, I guess I like you more. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expect the Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Sayori and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Nasuki is rummaging around in the closet. Man's about to fall asleep. Man, it looks like no one wants to be bothered today. I slumped down in the near into the nearest desk. How am I supposed to occupy myself with something literature related by myself like this? I guess I could read some of the book uh, Yuri gave me, but I'm feeling a little too tired to read. I could probably fall asleep right now. Okay. I close my eyes, my eyes and end up listening in on Sayori's conversation with Monica. We're probably going to seem really lame compared to all the other clubs though. Hmm. Well, we can't give up. The festival is our chance to show everyone that literature is all about. The oh, bomb fuck. Ah, oh, damn. Ow. <laughs> What's going on with you? Sorry. I, I yawned and I pulled the throat most. <laughs> <laughs> okay what does that mean even if we come up with the most fun thing ever nobody will come in the That's first place right. if it's a literature event so it's most important to figure out how to get people to show up in the first place you know and after they come we can do the things to speak to creative minds what's this sorry he's taking this really seriously it's rare to hear her delivering like this huh that's a good point in that case do you think food will do the trick what kind ah uh, well i guess we could cupcakes uh -huh. good thinking <laughs> nasuki would love to do that <laughs> You're right. Natsuki makes the best cupcakes. That works out perfectly. That wasn't the, that wasn't why you suggested it. Cupcakes speak to my creativity, my, to my creative tummy. <laughs> yeah, I can't read. I'm getting hot in here. It's like 90 degrees in my room. Yeah. It's, it's just funny because like an taco vote. Yo, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> cupcakes, it is then. I'm hungry. Anyway, we still need to work out the details of the events itself. I find myself smiling. In the end, Cyrus is still her usual self, but there. But therein lies the unexpected reason I admire her. Unlike me who has trouble finding any motivation at all. So I can put her mind into things and make them come to life. I suppose that's why I end up letting her get on my case about things. I can't help but wonder what it would be like to see the world through her eyes. Oh, ah! <laughs> not close! <laughs> Yo, bro! Be careful. I open my eyes to find <laughs> Sari's face full of my vision. I nearly <laughs> fell out of my chair. Hey, sorry! Okay. Wait. Actually, I'm not sorry at all. It's your fault for sleeping like that. This isn't a napkin club. I mean, when there's no activities, bro, I will fall asleep too. I'll be like... <sighs> I used to fall asleep all the time in math and English. Uh-huh. Because it was just simply so boring. Uh-huh. And uh, I used to practice those classes, even though I was literally sleeping. <laughs> Yo, the high school all was so time. easy. This is, this is actually a short story. There was actually this one time where, where I somehow fell asleep. Like, all I remember was, like, learning um, some type of fractions. Yeah, what it was and then all of a sudden it was just me waking up and i started freaking out because i was like wait well and then i fell asleep and then everybody's looking at me i'm like you always fall asleep i'm like yeah i know but like i didn't fall asleep like why am i just waking up now <laughs> and it felt like a brand new day and i was just like i was like really getting freaked out and then people were like dude relax sleep all the time and i'm just like no i don't remember sleeping and then that was the point where i was like yo Nature, you're scary. But then I knocked out. Yeah, I'd be like that. I remember one time I um, I knocked out, and you know when you like, have like, you know when you like wake up, like you shake, like your whole body shakes to keep you from falling asleep. Yeah, I did that. 
What? <laughs> you, you never done that? Wait, what do you mean your your body? You, you, you ever had a dream and and it's and it, and it feels like you're gonna fall, but then your body like like it just yanks oh. you up to sleep. Yeah. I yeah, I remember. You know that scene? Uh huh. Yes, you know that scene from SpongeBob? Uh huh. Like, <laughs> for Mermaid Man and, and Barnacle Boy is like overlooking the city in that one building. Hold the phone. This is where it starts getting interesting. I'll run my fingertips down the side of Sari's hair, trying to straighten oh, it out. You're just gonna, you're just, all right, <laughs> Man, you really need a brush for this. My hair is just really hard to get right. I won't fall for that. My pico is hard. There's more than just your hair. <laughs> Look, your bow isn't straight either. And there's a toothpaste stain on your collar right here. I tried to wipe off the stain with my finger. But, but nobody would ever notice that. Of course they would. Nobody's gonna tell you about it because they don't my want you to it. This shit has eyes. Fortunately, I really don't care about that. Hey, you meanie. And you didn't even keep your blazer button up. Seriously, Sayori. Why, do you th why don't you think- Why do you think you don't have a boyfriend yet? Eh? That's super mean. Sorry, but You'll thank me later. I started- I started to blend her blazer from the bottom. Let's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go with it! Once you see how much better it looks, you'll change your mind. Ah, yeah. So here we go. I'm telling you, those are sneakers, bro. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> sheesh! This is so. I'm looking at my own socks. And I'm looking at those. Like it's, they don't look like shoes because if you think about it, right, the outline of her feet very predominant. I mean, it's the otters just did a bad job. Well, uh, I was just thinking. Socks. Hey man, Japanese people. I was just thinking how weird it is to have a friend who does these things, who does these kinds of things, eh? Don't say that. You'll make me feel weird about it, dumbass. <laughs> it's okay, though. I'm happy we're like this, aren't you? Uh, I, I guess. Hey, be careful. The button might come off. Why is this one so hard to close? I struggle to fully close the button near her chest. Does this thing even fit you properly? <laughs> it did when I bought it. If you ever buttoned it, you would have noticed sooner that it doesn't fit you anymore. What are you smiling about? It means my boobs got bigger again. Ew, don't say that out loud. <laughs> anyway, you look be much better now, so... Eh? Why does it feel strange to see Sayori's blazer button up like that? That's called... Pico mode. But it's so <laughs> stuffy. <laughs> it's not worth it at all. <laughs> you caught me off guard with that. That was a good one, Pico mode. I like that. Sayori hastily unbuttons her blazer <laughs> once more. She unbuttons it after you button it. Phew, that's so much better. So he puts her arms out and twirls around. So if I keep it unbuttoned, then I won't get a boyfriend, right? What kind of logic is that? And why are you saying that's like it's a good thing? Because if I had a boyfriend, then he wouldn't even he wouldn't even let you do the things like this. And you, and you take care of me better than anyone else would. So that's why I'm keeping it unbuttoned. Stop saying all these embarrassing things. Eh? I didn't say anything embarrassing. Jeez. Well, anyway, just focus on trying to wake up a little earlier. Only if you focus on going to bed earlier. Fine, fine. It's up to you. <laughs> I guess we really are better at taking care of each other than we are at taking ourselves. Yeah, hey. I guess so, huh? So maybe you should come wake me up in the morning. You're doing Oof. it again, Sayori. Oh, but I was joking that time. Man, it's impossible to tell you with you sometimes. Okay, everyone. Huh? Monica suddenly calls out. Why don't we share the poems we wrote now? Yay! Surgeon, I can't wait to read yours. Yeah, same. I felt you sound enthusiastic, but Sayori still <coughs> trusts a way to retrieve her poem. By the way, did you remember the ro to write a poem last night? Yeah, my relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do, so, to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've really never done this before. Well, now, that's, well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you just find someone to reserve with? I can't wait! Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull up their poems. Sayori's is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica writes hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Ryuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Yeah, every time when I, I hear uh, you say reaching for the bags, I'm assuming they're pulling out a clock, yo. Know, <laughs> this guy just memes, bro. Alright, so not this one. Alright, 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 alright. All right. So we already did Monica. Uh huh. So, like, second best would be Sayori. So I. Oh, wait. Ah! No, 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 we good, we good. No, no, we good. <laughs> I'm definitely most comfortable sharing it with Sayori first. She's my good friend after all. Here we go. Hmm? Oh my goodness, this is so good, Surgeon! Eh? I love it! I had no idea you were such a good writer! Sayori? You must be seriously overreacting. I'm not a good writer at all. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Well, maybe Back. that's why. Because I have no idea what I like either. What? What? <laughs> what? Wait, no, wait, oh no. Huh? 
<laughs> Jeez. I'm sure Yuri's opinion has to be a little bit more constructive than this. Maybe even not Suki's. Are you sure you don't like it just because I wrote it? Huh? Well, I'm sure that's part of it. I think I understand you better than a lot of other people, you know? So when I read your poem, it's not just a poem, it's a surgeon poem. That's so weird, dude. So weird. <laughs> hey, hold on, hold on. A poem? Oh. God. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. And that makes it feel extra special. Like I can feel your feelings in it. Sari hugs the sheet against her chest. Yeah. Some cliche shit. You're so weird, Sayori. <laughs> I'm really happy that you just wrote one. It just reminds me of how you're really a part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. <coughs> ah, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. I, See? Wait, hold on. Hmm? Pause, right? I don't. Like, you know how we showed it to Monica and she says, I like it? And now this is her perspective. Does it matter which words that we actually picked? Right. Uh, I don't know. Because the first one was weird, Monica? Bro, her shit was like, I don't know, it's like a hole that stretches into infinity. And I was like, what? <laughs> it's like I said before, Surgeon. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Trying new things like this for other people, that's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. Yes? I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah? And I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? Ew! That'll be my way of thanking you. Alright. Oh, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna hold you to that then. Yay! Now you'll read my poem too, right? Ah, here we go. Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see about that. Alright, so. Alright, now we get to read hers. <clears throat> you first, go ahead. Uh, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning makes me feel like you miss me. Kissing my forehead. Whoa. Huh? Huh? Help <laughs> me out of bed. Making me rub the. Whoa. Whoa. Rub the sleepy from my eyes. Oh. <laughs> right. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above. The sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you. Aww. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever, but I'm not mad. I won't threaten you. Ah, this one's more straightforward. The hell? The, the <laughs> ending was just mad. Random. <laughs> Sayori, this is just a yes, bud. Did you wait until this morning to write this? No, just a little yeah. bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. That's true! I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. Don't Result. be mean. I still try my best. Ah, uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It just came out nice, or how should I put it? it? Sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast. <laughs> Even though you were late to school. It's bad to skip breakfast. I guess that I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no Dang. point in arguing. Do you get cranky when you don't eat? Because I do. Fuck. If I don't eat for a long as time, for some reason, um... I get really hungry in the mornings out of nowhere. I don't know why. Same, bro. I, I'm especially during like when I can't sleep. Sheesh. But before, when I used to be a a female dog, freaking, I used to get really cranky. <laughs> and I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I look forward to it. All right, here we go. Aye, aye. So there's no yo. What the freak? We can oh, use so. The, so Wait, what is... Oh, okay, so it was basically... Yo, this one interests me. Yuri, the purple head girl? What do you think, Kenny? Yeah. Alright. Hmm? Hmm. Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes more than enough for her time to finish reading it. Um... Oh! Sorry. Yeah, oh, shit. I forgot to start speaking. Um... It's fine. Don't force yourself. I'm not. Uh, I'm, I switched roles. <laughs> I just need to put things, put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. She's gonna this. It's okay. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be. Uh, I guess that it might be after reading through it. Ah, so is that bad? No. Did I just raise my voice? Um, I'm sorry. Sorry. It was good with this chick, yeah. Yeah, for real. Your birds are facing her hands. I couldn't help but notice it's been several minutes and we really haven't gone anywhere. I m it might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine, I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right, um, it's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers, and having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they <sighs> try to make them... Ah, your, your turn. Make their, bleh, your turn. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> in, other words, <clears throat> in other words, they tend to pick up writing styles, separate from... Firm... 
You good? And they form fit. Yeah, okay, I can see why this is different. <laughs> the end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weak. Yo, she uses too many big words, y'all. It's 90 degrees in my room, yo. Anything with three syllables. Once you already find her train of thought, because of demeanor totally changed. Her stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are many different skills and techniques like going to writing, not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it comes with practice. And I'm learning by example, trying to. Uh, I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. All right. All right. That was actually pretty useful. Natsuki can be a little biased, though. Biased? How? Um, well, never mind. <laughs> what the fuck? Yo, she really wish washing. Yo, I'm saying. Well, like that. Sorry. Fine. Yeah, she likes to beat around the bushes, but I like to beat my. Pico de guy. <laughs> Sure. I'm not sure if Beauty is apologizing. I'm like, uh. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Here are my headphones. Please right, do. Kenny, I'll let you do this one. I love to share my thought process behind you. Very smart, dreamingly, dreamingly, as if there's a rare opportunity. Ew. Hey. Which itself is kind of funny, after all. Isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Not. Nah, so, <clears throat> what the hell? Ghost under the light. Okay. Uh, I can't read that handwriting. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Alright, we got some imagery in this. Alright. Mm -hmm. Dude, this shit, I can barely read this. It must be this one. The last remaining streetlight to have withstood the, te <sighs> withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue green hue of the future. I like this one. I bathe. Calm, breathing air of the present while living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. I flicker back. Oh. That's not bad. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. How do you close it? Uh, you exit out. So, no, no, no. No, no, no. There you go. Shit. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have such terrible habits. Yeah, tell me about it, I can barely read that shit. You want this game self aware? Oh. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read. Uh, well, I just don't read script very often. Facts, I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Uh, that's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short? I usually write longer poems. Not at all. The, uh, it's the wave of the motion, bro. I'm really glad you liked it. I'll be honest, since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's a yeah, little... I wonder... Wait, is Hayes... Is Hayes No, no, no. He left? No, he... Dude, he's with his girl. Is he in here? Is he? That's what I'm asking. No, he's not in here. Oh, so it's just us two? Yeah. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghost, Yuri? Mm. Okay, what's that sound effect? Hue hue? No, it goes. Um, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pro. That's the best way I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Surgeon. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experience in their work. They usually do more, more than tell a story, a simple story, or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolic, symbolic, wow, symbolically <laughs> compared to a, yeah, to a ghost. And then you're in our last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot. That's a lot more soul than putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing really. Well, it makes me happy that you, that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. I uh, so we know this girl, all right? So we'll say that. For nah, too late. 
Alright. Whoa, uh, what about the viewers? Uh, yeah. oh. Viewers, sure shit. No, let, let's get what you think. Okay, viewers. Um, so she is like really nice. She has a crush <laughs> on me. Alright, and let's just get to the point, alright? It's the poem that I want to show you guys. Alright, this is all like Utaku shit. I don't want to see it. <laughs> <laughs> alright, alright. Alright, hold up. I love you viewers, but just let it just we don't care about I like we care about them. God. That's what I'm saying. Okay, uh come on you piece of Damn, bro, I don't remember this much dialogue. <laughs> so she likes your thing. She likes your poem. Okay, so. Be called a guy. So remember, hole in wall. It couldn't have been me. See the direction the spackle protrudes? A noisy neighbor? An angry boyfriend? I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel, blind, like a film left out in the sun, but it's too late. My redness, already scorched with a permanent copy of meaningless images. Image, it's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep, stretching forever into everything. Oh. A hole of infinite choices. <laughs> I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. Hey, on the other side, I was looking in. Yo, what I'm saying is, look, <laughs> bro. What I'm saying is this. She got raped. Think, no. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. She looked. Right. She looked inside her window, right? And the image before her was too late. She saw a hole, basically, okay. basically the pico hole, and <laughs> it went into another hole that it infinitely stretches. And then I forgot the ending, but yeah, she says <laughs> it was too late. I was like, bro, she got raped. Actually, that's actually a pretty. Uh, that's that's the way I saw it. Can I see the poem again? I think. I think what happened. Damn, too late. I think what happened was she okay, so she was outside. I don't think she was like the girl's bathroom. I think she was outside the building. Uh-huh. She keeped them in a hole. Right? Cause look, 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 look my bathroom dropped you, but I, nigga, I don't wanna bring up uh, this is embarrassing. But nah that yeah, uh yeah, yeah, continue your thing. I don't wanna nah, I don't wanna bring it up. Just keep uh, going. She looked into the uh the cylinder. And then um she saw something that she shouldn't have, and then rather than just looking away, she just glued her eyes in. And then while all that is happening, uh, a couple of minutes roll by, you see the guy. He looks back. So now she got caught. I look at someone's pico the guy. Oh. Yeah, but what do you explain about it going inside an infinite hole that stretches? Wow. And then she, and she's like, all I could see was the hole on the other side, while the hole that was like I was seeing. It can only be seen from the inside. I I, I just forgot already. Uh, All right. we'll, we'll, let the, we'll let the viewers decide. Uh, yeah. you, keep, get right or not? you keep on reading. Uh, kind of nervous to talk about. Deep. I, I honestly I, I would believe you because the way how she's saying it. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway. But not, last one, not least, Nasuki. Sheesh. Hmm. Oh, this girl. Hmm. Well, it's about what they expected. You don't like her. What happened? No, yeah, he don't like her at all. Well, it's about. Guts still guts. That's what I'm saying. That's a little <laughs> blunt. Well, excuse me. It's not like I said it was bad. It just even didn't evoke any emotion. So basically, it's not good enough for your taste. Damn! Do you want you to get smacked? I'll pass. <laughs> well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. Not that you'll like it. I like it. Okay. Damn, this shit mad simple. <laughs> <laughs> Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, Eagles can fly, people can try, that's about it. Yeah, I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Huh? Just be honest, I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff, so people don't even take my writing seriously. But Honestly, it wasn't so bad. That's they what I'm went, saying. They went to the point, and I wasn't disappointed. So. You, you weren't. You were, it wasn't like a boo, nigga. <laughs> but isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less vivid or valid. Yes, exactly. I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem, seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other, but the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then made made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it 
than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. <laughs> I'm glad you learned something. Yo, <laughs> this girl. Didn't expect that one from... Didn't expect that from the young... Yeah, That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor with the last comment. I don't really care how everyone, how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, one, then I won't take that away from her. Oh my god, finally, chapter 10. Phew. I guess that's everyone. I glanced around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, <sighs> there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Atsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrow fro furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Huh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you can say it's fancy. Ah, uh, thanks. Yours is cute. <laughs> Cute! Fancy. Did, you. did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. I did not get that one. What's like, well, not even not even an ounce. How can that be cute? I, I know that. It just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Huh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um, well, I guess I have a couple suggestions. Damn, yo, are we really <laughs> it's sensitive in high school? <laughs> I don't remember being sensitive. If I was looking for suggestions, oh my, that's gonna be one that's second. That's a lie. Okay, but so then. Uh, uh, one second, Kenny. <laughs> man, life stage. And I word for more sponsors. <laughs> oh, it's a Japanese. BTS is on tour. The hell. No say. Oh, those features, no say. BTS. No, estoy tan seguro tan. Yeah, es un, es un evento, pero no estoy seguro de qué es. Yeah, no. Alright, where were we? Oh, yeah. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it, which people did, by the way. So I already liked it. And Surgeon did too. Yo, that's such a weird name. Why you made me choose that name, bro? So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. Because, for the viewers out there, you name yourself surgeons when they ask, <laughs> why they name themselves surgeons? Because I get them with their guts. <laughs> I didn't expect it to change anytime soon, unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring, which I haven't yet. <clears throat> and surgeon like my poem too, you know? He even told me he was impressed by it. Nasuki suddenly stands up. Oh, I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. <laughs> But why did it get quiet? Oh. Eh? That's not oh, what okay. I... Otaku bull. <laughs> no, I thought somebody was gonna get their throat slapped right now. <laughs> you, you're just... The, the tension was... So, yeah. Maybe you're just jealous that Surgeon appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Huh? And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... No. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. <laughs> um, is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boost magically grew a size bigger or soon after Surge just started showing up. Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> She's stuffing them for us! Wait, who? Wait, which one? She's uh, like, yeah, she was like, the you're, she's like, it's, it's like, it wasn't like my boost magically got bigger as soon as um Surgeon showed up. Hey. Uh, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you. I don't like fighting, guys. <laughs> Suddenly, both girls tor turn towards me as if they just noticed I was standing there. Surgeon, sh she's just trying to make me look back. That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point of making your poems all... Poems all convoluted? Com <laughs> Bro, convoluted. The meaning should jump out of the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her surgeon. Wait, there's a reason why it's, there's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning the most efficiently. <sighs> Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, surgeon? Uh, well, uh, how did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing, but whomever I agree with, they'll probably think the more highly of me. Ew! 
Alright, I'll let you decide here, oh, Kenny. No. <laughs> This is where the game game starts. <laughs> no, we said that three times. This is where the game 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 no, starts. This is when the game 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 games. <laughs> do we go? We, right. Do we turn to our best friend, or do we go to Yuri, or do we go to Natsuki? I right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's think about. It. Let's let's do the procedure. So Natsuki, right? She's been like stuffing herself. No, here. Natsuki is this. Yuri is this. Yuri is just being annoying, right? No, no, Yuri is this, Natsuki is her. Oh, anyways. <laughs> Yuri wants her guts to be uh, rearranged. <laughs> <laughs> and Natsuki. <laughs> She's been uh, being annoying. The only reason why it escalates is. Technically. Uh, Yuri is in the, is in the <laughs> right, but again, like I don't understand what uh, why we have to call out to Sayuri. But we can't decide. So We're... I'm gonna go with Sayuri because choosing sides really don't matter, buddy. True, but we're men, yo. This is our chance. Oh. We're the surgeon. All right. All right. I want all the guts. Not a I I yep. Natsuki. Natsuki glares at me, drawing up any words I had in my mouth. So instead, I turn into y to Yuri. Yuri. Oh god. Oh god. But Yuri's expression is so defensive that I can't bring myself to say anything to her. Sayori. Eh? Yeah. Everyone's fighting is making Sayori uncomfortable. How can the two of you keep fighting when you know you're making your friend feel like this? Sure, hey. man. Well, that's her problem. This isn't about her. I, I agree. It's unfair for others to interject their own feelings into our own conflict. Yeah, unless Sayori wants to tell Yuri what a stuck-up jerk she's be being. Oh, yo, you about to get slapped. She would never. It's your immaturity that's made her upset in the first place. Excuse me? God Are you listening it. to yourself? This is exactly why. Exactly why nobody likes. Stop! Yo, it just got personal. Natsuki, Yuri, you guys are my friends. I, I just want everyone to get along and be happy. Why is there tears already? My friends are wonderful people, and I love them because wow, of their differences. Speak in that language. <clears throat> your turn. Yuri! That's what I think, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Natsuki's poems, they're amazing because they give you so many feelings with just a few words. And your poems are amazing because they paint beautiful pictures in your head. True. Everyone's so talented. So why are we fighting? B because, well... Also, Natsuki's cute and there's nothing wrong with that. And Yuri's boobs are the same as they always were. I mean... Hmm. Big and beautiful. <laughs> why can't you say that about my pico, yeah? <laughs> Sayori Sayori stands triumphantly Monica stands behind her with a bewildered expression Oh, make some tea Yuri rushes off Natsuki sits down with a black expression on her face Staring at nothing So this is why Sayori is vice president I whisper to Monica She nods in return To be honest I might come off as a good leader And I can recognize And I can organize things But I'm not very good with people I wouldn't even bring myself to interject As president that's kind of embarrassing of me <laughs> Nah It's not like I can blame you I wasn't able to say anything either. Well, I guess that just means Sayori is amazing in her own ways, isn't she? Y you could say that. She might be an airhead, but sometimes it's weirdly suspicious that she knows exactly what she's doing. Yeah. I see. Take good care of her, okay? I would hate to see her get herself hurt. That makes two of us. You can count on me. Monica smiles really at me, causing my stomach to nod. Mm. Such a genuine person really does make a good present, <laughs> regardless of what she says. If only I could get the chance to talk to her a little more. Oh my god. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How did you feel about sharing your poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was alright. Well, mostly. Surgeon, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was <laughs> a neat thing to talk about with everyone. When is the horror coming in? Oh, no, for real, bro. In that case, we'll do the same thing somewhere. I feel weird just thinking about myself just reading this shit. Like, don't get me wrong, nothing wrong to those people that do this. Because I did it when I was like 16, 17. Uh, it's kind of weird, like... No shame. Get... <laughs> it's kind of weird. Uh, it's kind of weird when they get way too... Yeah, guys, uh, I, I definitely don't don't um recommend you guys to look up Ninja Girls. I did learn... It's, it's on iOS, Apple Store, just so you know. I did learn a little more about my... <laughs> without any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself with a newfound determination. Surgeon, ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. <laughs> Sorry, speaks beams at me. It truly has been a while since I and I spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. 
Oh god. Sayori, about what happened earlier, uh, what do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Atsuki? Does that kind of thing happen often? Oh, oh, by, by, by the way, I'm gonna, I'm gonna chill with my boy, cause I said, remember like two hours? Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, so. Damn, so let's just do one poem and I said, right. you don't, you don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can't see why they make good friends with you. That's one way I say Pico. You know, Surgeon, it's nice that I got to spend time with you in the club, but I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you too. That's... <laughs> Every day is going to be so much fun. <sighs> it looks like Sirius still hasn't caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop here? We'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. I pass her in the I, shoulder. I hear something interesting. What? The only thing I, I could find believable is when like a bunch of girls fight over one dude because they inherently um do it for competition all right this is his last poem okay so are we just gonna randomly select words or try to guess no nah, we're gonna try uh i'll put on i'll start doki doki that's the name of the game okay all right your turn uh oh boy. Okay. Okay, now you're just picking words on purpose. Alright. Uh, uh, jump. Damn, bro, you're picking up all Ah, <laughs> uh, cool. Now wait, we already did that. Swimsuit. Swimsuit. Uh, socks. Let's keep it. Let's keep it up. Uh, bouncy. Hey, bet. Uh, faster. Your turn. Oop. Which one? Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Philosophy. <laughs> so I'm guessing this means that they're like we we're seeing who we're getting closer with. Oh, is it? Nah, I think they're just moving around. Uh, yeah. They, why am I gasping? What the fuck was up? <laughs> I was like, <gasps> like there's some kind of. The game finally begins. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the sure. Oh wow, she actually likes that. Um. Pure. She likes that word? Weird. Your turn. Color. What's gonna happen? Alright, so we're gonna save this right here. I'm gonna let you chill. Alright guys, so that was the end of part one. I hope you enjoy it. Again, this is my boy Kenny. Uh, we're gonna end this right here, alright? So, we'll see you guys in the next one, alright? Wait, no, no final thoughts? Damn. I mean, what Speaking do you think? I mean, what, what do you think, Kenny? Well... This game, uh, it has a lot of uh, pacing issues. Pretty funny, not gonna cap. America. <laughs> I don't know, I just... When does the game really... Like, how... How... how? Supposedly someone beat it in four hours. So... Oh, we're already in, like... We're in the end game. <laughs> <laughs> we're, like, what? Like, half an hour in? Remember, I, w I went... <laughs> yeah, like... <laughs> If I had to like pace it, it's like half an hour. Yo, facts. Alright, man. So, this is the end of part one, guys. This is JC signing off. This is Kenny leaving as well. See you guys in the next one. Bye. Eat. Alright.